Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome back to another Pixelmon Guide here on the channel. Today, as promised, I'm going to be going over how to get the Eternamax Eternatus form in Pixelmon Minecraft 1.16.5 and Pixelmon version 9.1.5. Let's hop right into it. So, before we do so, if you guys have been enjoying, leave a like on this video. Consider subscribing if you are new. If you enjoyed this video at all, please input as much as possible. Give me comments, give me likes, give me subscriptions, because that's how YouTube promotes the video. I'm, as I'm asking for it, not just for my health, but for my channel's health so please do so anyway let's get into this so how to get the eternamax eternatus i've been getting a few questions about this recently so i figured i'd make a video discussing it because this bad boy right here is well other than being the unstoppable beast that he is a very tricky thing to acquire in pixelmon first off it doesn't spawn naturally in the world that's right you heard, you heard here first folks Eternamax Eternatus does not naturally spawn in the world. There is no natural quest to get him in the world. Like you guys know, there's legendary quests in Pixelmon. You cannot get him through that. So you might be asking yourselves, Austin, how do I get this guy? Because I really want him on my team. I want to experience the, the full power of Eternatus in his Eternamax form. How do I do it? Well, guys, you gotta cheat. I'm not kidding. The only way to currently acquire this guy is to use the Pokemon editor tool that I use for all my guides and edit him onto your team. I'm not joking. There is no other way to do it. If you guys are on servers or run servers, there might be a way to make this thing appear in like uh, the loot crates and stuff that are on servers. I'm not sure. But in terms of if you're playing just naturally in survival and you just want to experience this guy, you're going to have to cheat him in. There's no other way to do it. If you want to be as fair as possible about it, create like an anti-system for him or like, I don't know, trade your best Pokemon for him or something just if you want to experience him. Because again, guys, this is Minecraft. You're meant to play it how you want to. If you really want this guy on your team, I don't see any issue with spawning him in for yourself, especially considering he doesn't naturally spawn himself. He does have stats and everything. We're going to go over that soon. But yeah, how you do it. Go into creative mode, type just, I think, Poke, or just Poke. If you just type Poke, you'll see the Pokemon Editor tool is right here. Once you get the Pokemon Editor tool, put it in your inventory, right-click, add a new slot, or edit the an existing slot, type in Eternatus, like so. You can edit anything you want, but if you want to be fair about it, act like you just caught the guy. Go down to Forms, scroll to True Eternamax, click that, and bada-boom, bada-bing, you got yourself a Turnamax form. Another thing that is possible, I saw, is under, not under pallets, under, uh, actually, yeah, it's not there now. Interesting. When I was using the, the thing before, it let me switch between, there was just Eternamax and True Eternamax, but anyway, just select True Eternamax, and you get them on your team and as proof, throw them out. Now there's two of them over top of each other. It is pretty crazy. This guy is massive, but like I said, he can fight. Like this level 19 magic right here. If I threw him into battle, as you can see, it says Eternatus, level 100. He's got his sprite and everything. He has his moveset. You can fight with him. It'll just be a bit ridiculous. And why is it ridiculous? Well, let's go over his stats real quick. On screen right now is a comparison between the regular Eternima or Eternatus and the Eternamax Eternatus. And as you can see, there is a huge difference. He has a base 255 uh, HP, 250 defense, and 250 special defense. So he is a defense type when he is in his Eterna Max form, but that does not mean he's still lacking in attack potential. All of his stats are pretty much as strong as they possibly can be, totaling for 1125, which is unheard of for normal Pokemon. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think a single Pokemon has a base stat total of 1125. Otherwise, he works like a regular Eternatus. He's got the same stats, everything. There's not really any trick to it other than you have to cheat him in. Besides all that, guys, that is going to do it for the guy. I know it was a short one. I know you have to cheat him in, and I know people are like, well, I'm never going to do that. Well, like I said, that is how you get him in Pixelmon. If you guys enjoyed this guide, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below what you'd like to see next from me. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe. Goodbye.